We've always been big fans of Topeka Coffee, and in, in many ways, their coffee has fueled our production directly. So we thought, rather than just drinking it, we might actually use it in some of our recipes. So we, we really kind of started the conversation, hey, what would it look like if we wanted to can cold brewed coffee? Topeka Coffee actually started in its current form back in around 2002. Uh, my wife's family is from El Salvador and they've been producing coffee since about 1850. We have uh, two farms in El Salvador. Uh, one of them is the Ayotepeque farm. Uh, the other one is just above it called uh, Manzano. And then we have another farm in Brazil called Finca Santana. Topeka is a fully vertically integrated company, meaning we uh, are in control of the process from seed to cup. Direct trade, the word to me, what it means is that the mill guys cut out that's allowing, I think, a, a bit of a revolution in the sense of putting the power in the hands of the producer. The quality of the coffee is way higher. There is one middleman between you and the producer, and that's us. We plant the seed, grow the trees, uh, we export, import, uh, roast, brew, <laughs> everything. Utilizing these cans will help for us to be eco-minded. With the micro ACS, from Cask, we're able to nitro dose cold brew coffee cleanly and consistently every time. Not only does it package beer in an excellent fashion, it also has the, the capability to do still beverages like coffee. We decided to, to go in together essentially on buying a, a, a larger canning line that was capable of doing not only what they needed to do, but, but was more capable for what we needed to do with beer as well. So it was really something about a collaborative project with shared costs, uh, and, and also uh, in sharing costs, we shared some of the liabilities and risk. There's actually a uh, software built in to the micro ACS line that allows the can, uh, canning line to sense how rapidly cans are coming through the carousel. Um, and what it does is it mimics the amount of time it took to dose apply and seam the can previous to the one going into the line. Uh, right now we're packaging cold brew coffee in 8.4 ounce or 250 milliliter cans, which are tall and skinny and by all measures uh, incredibly different from beer cans. And the line adapts to them and it does it exceedingly well. We can go from packaging beer to packaging coffee back to packaging beer in the same day. Uh, there's just a million reasons for us to, to be in cans. Um, you can take them basically anywhere to the lake, you know, to water where glass can't go. Um, they get colder faster, stay colder longer, and so we, we really couldn't imagine doing it any other way. We actually have a coffee oatmeal stout that we're releasing in cans for the first time. What we have in the can is an incredibly complex uh, layered set of flavors, not only with an oatmeal stout but with coffees as well. Whether it's with different beers or brewing styles, the relationship that we've already sort of developed, we'd really like to uh, see where this can take us. Right now, things are just going really, really well for us, and, and we're really thankful for you know, the opportunities we've been given, not only with the canning line that we have, and, um, but also with the friends that we've made with Tobeka. And, and Cask has made that equipment accessible to us, not only with the line that we're currently running, but at a price point that, that allows us to to compete with bigger companies.